All right, guys, I'm gonna try to make this intro real quick. I, uh, I got out here and uh, got my baits out and I've actually been on fish um, pretty consistently. I was just trying to make the video just now and had a hit. But um, what I'm doing, I'm fishing out here at Buckhorn Dam. Y'all seen me fish here before and I'm bank fishing. Um, I'm using bluegill and I got one piece of gizzard chat out there just to change it up. But bluegill is kind of my bait of choice this time of year in this area. But what I've done is I've got my rods kind of just staggered out across here. So back here behind me, I've got my 12 foot rod. I've got it about 70 yards out. And then I've got each rod a little bit about, I don't know, 10 yards closer, um, back all the way to about within 20 feet of the bank here. So I've just kind of got a line across here, um, trying to catch some fish moving up uh, from down river, coming up here at the dam and feeding. So that's my setup, real simple. Um, I've caught some fish as you're about to see and I'm hoping I'm gonna catch some more. So I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. All right guys, let's get some baits in the water. First fish. First fish is on. That didn't take too long either. Come on in, buddy. First fish. Piece of cut bait. Like we got ourselves a blue cat. I hope I got me running in here on my other camera while I got to kick my shoes off. I was way up there by the dam trying to catch some more bait. Yeah, we got us a got us a blue. And I looked down here and my um, <laughs> I saw my big rod doubling over. All right, guys, there's our first one for the night. Little blue cat. Hopefully, we'll have some more come along here in a little bit. This one came off a piece of cut bait. So, toss him back and uh, see what else we can get into. All right, buddy, back you go. And he's gone.
he done got them tangled all up in something. I have to go get him, I bet. Let's see if he'll come out. Come on out, buddy. Get back out. Look out of those other ones now after that last two raw I had. This guy nailed it. Let's see what we got this time. I'd love to have a flathead. I certainly got me one this year. But the way he broke the water, it looked like a blue. He's either got himself wrapped or yeah, he's got himself wrapped, I think. He's coming in, honey. Oh! Yeah, we got us a pretty boy. Come on in, bud. Give me a hard time in this current. All right, guys. There's our uh, our two. This one right here gave me a fit. Little fish to get for all that trouble, but hey, it's a fish. And, it ain't a bad blue, it's better than the first one, definitely. So, tickled to get them. We'll toss them on back and uh, I'm gonna keep on fishing. All right, first fish going back. I need some help, buddy. You've had a stress. Nah, I think he's all right. We'll leave him for a second. He had a stressful time a while ago. And let's get this guy back. Back in the water you go, buddy. There's that one. Let's help this little guy. Come on, bud. There you go. And there you go. I just missed most of this. What we got? Yeah, hey, look at there. Look at it. It's a daggum channel cat. What do you know? I hope we don't get into a bunch of them. All right, guys, we got us a channel. Uh, not my favorite fish, but hey, it's another fish. I ain't gonna complain too much. So we'll toss him back and uh, keep on fishing. There's another one. He done wrapped me up into something good. Let's see if we can get him to come out. Get out of there. Whatever you're in. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Let's see if he'll run on down with it and maybe get me out. Pull it out. I'm gonna have to go out there and get him, I think. He's wrapped me good. Well, he's pulling pretty good, too. Man. I don't know what he is, but... He's pulling the crap out of this thing. Look at that.
what in the world I've got. <laughs> I'm always have to mess with them until I can go try to chase them. I gotta try to get this channel cat back in the bag up river. I don't kill him. Alright. Got rid of him. Let's keep on working with this fish. See where he went. Tell me I pulled up. Yep, I think I done pulled the bait again. And that Jaker was. Nah, he's still on there. He's just coming to the bank. Come on, buddy. Nah, he's off. Yeah, good. Oh, oh, there we go, guys. There we go. We got this one. Let's see if we can get this one in. All right. Come on in, buddy. Feels pretty solid. Of course, I'm pulling up this current, so that makes it feel a lot bigger than it is, but he definitely uh, rocked my kayak pretty good. I, I saw the whole thing take a little bit of a dive there. I'm glad I was paying attention. Got to reel this one in since it's about five miles out there. It's going to take me an hour to get it in. Uh, this one definitely feels better than anything else I've caught so far. Right. I hear him splashing. Got us a blue, it sounds like. I wish y'all could have seen the takedown. I, I kid you not, uh, I might need to put some extra straps on there because he, he nailed it. Yeah, he's really not that big, but he hit it hard. Let me just go ahead and tell y'all, he ain't big at all. Still a pretty fish, I ain't complaining. But. All right guys, we got us another one. Another one on a piece of cut bait. This was the one I had about five miles out there. But pretty blue cat, definitely tickled to catch it. And uh, I'm gonna get baited back up and see if I can get me another one. I thought I just had a rod go in the water. That was a beaver, I guess. <laughs> All right, there y'all go. I don't know if I've got one on here or not. Oh, look, there's another little something. I think we got it. There we go. Yeah, we got another one on here. Got us a double. Uh, we got us a stick. Man, I got so excited. Look at that. I hope y'all can see this. That's embarrassing. I might go take a picture of this thing. <laughs> Alright, buddy. 
back in the water. You go, let go. Hey. <laughs> Owl still got plenty of energy. All right, guys. I literally just baited this one up and threw it out there, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna throw it back just for a few minutes while I pack up, and what well, you know? I had a fish come and hit it. Let's see if we can get this guy in. Alrighty. This is on one of the uh, Trophy Cat Tackle 10 out hooks, too. Get to finally uh, break one of those hooks in. What do we got? Uh, looks like we got us a channel kit. Well, look at there, guys. I, I despise the channel kit. Let me get another aggravating thing. Oh, feisty channel cat. That's uh, I didn't even think I was gonna catch anything. I just threw that, threw that bait back out there just for a second, just while I packed up, and uh, sure enough, we got one of these. So it's another fish, though. Get them tossed back, and uh, I'm gonna actually put that bait back on there. I got it back, and uh, I've got a few more minutes of packing, so maybe we'll get another one. All right, back you go, bud. Let go of my grippers. They don't want to let go of them. Aggravating thing. Let go of my grippers. Come on. There you go. And he's gone. All right, y'all. I'm going to start getting everything packed up, I think. This was supposed to be just a short trip, and I've uh, drug it out a little bit longer than I was going to. I've been out here a few hours now. Uh, bike started off really well, and... I landed several fish and then uh, I kind of started running into some bad luck there. I, uh, if I have footage of it, I'll show you. I had one run me under a log, had to go out there and cut the line on that one. Had another one run me into something, I just finally ripped that one loose, but I lost the fish and the bait. Then I've had several takedowns and uh, missed those fish, so I don't know if I've got a bunch of channel cats messing with me or not. Uh, I caught that one channel cat, so if, I, if I've got a mess of them, they'll, uh, they'll like to plague sometimes, but either way, can't complain too much. I caught several fish there. And uh, first trip on the Cape Fear I've gotten to do this year and uh, catch fish. I think I, uh, I went out one time in the winter time, froze my butt off and I uh, didn't fish long and didn't catch anything. So I'm just excited to be out here and doing a little fishing. So either way, that's gonna do it. If uh, y'all enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I try to put a video out about once a week. Um, if you're on social media, check out Rock Bottom Cats on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're looking for a good uh, Facebook group to join for catfishing uh, in North Carolina, check out NC Catfishing. We broke uh, 5,000 members today, which is uh, pretty cool considering uh, started the group only about a year and a half ago. So it was exciting to see how much it's grown. So make sure you. Uh, stop by and check that out as well. Once again, I appreciate everybody watching the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.